Now to sew the lapel, we want to begin sewing from the back side of the lapel. To do that, I will use the segment sewing tool, click on one to start. Hover the mouse over there, click one to place the sewing and then click once again to sew that together. Next, I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate and press it once again to stop. I'm going to zoom in because we also want to sew right here, okay? So next, I'm going to click one right there to start and then click once again right here. Right now, it looks like I have a problem here. We want to adjust the color up a little bit so it's easy for us to sew. Let me switch to transform pattern tool. I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate here and I want to pull it up just a little bit and then press it once again to stop. So now I have these space between the color and the next. I'm going to select the segment sewing tool once again, click one to start and then click once again to sew that together. And as you can see right here, I only need to sew it one side and reflect two bows. Now I'm going to press on number two here. Let's switch the tool to transform pattern tool so it's easy for me to see. Next, we want to fold that lapel and create facing for it. To do that, we are going to first come over here to the vertical toggle menu and I want to click on that t-shirt icon, hover the mouse to the right and we want to select the show internal line. Click on that. Next, I'm going to use the folding tool to fold that lapel, okay? To do that, I will go to the 3D toolbar and click on that fold arrangement tool. Then hover the mouse, when I see the blue line appear, click on it. Now I'm going to click on the green arrow and then drag it out. Okay, let me press number two here. Uh, let's see if I need to fold a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate. Okay, there it is. So next I'm going to press it once again to stop the simulation. Now I'm going to create the facing for the lapel. To create the facing, we want to make a copy this front bodice of the jacket. I will click one here, press on shift, and then click one to the next front pattern, right click. And I want to select layer clone under. After that, I will click one up here to place the patterns. Now I'm going to come over here and zoom in a little bit. Let's click one on the page to deselect. Next, I want to cut this line. Simply go to that transform pattern tool, click one on that line there. Okay. Now we have two internal lines. We want to delete one of them. So I'm going to click one right here and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Now I'm going to click one once again, right click and I want to select cut. And after that, I want to click one right here, press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete that part because we don't need it. I will do the same right here with the opposite pattern, right click and then select cut. After that, click on this piece here and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Okay, let me bring them down. Now I'm going to switch my tool to edit sewing tool here. So when I click on this sewing, as you can see right there, we literally don't have to sew all this. We only need to sew down here and right here. So to do that, I will use the segment sewing tool here. Click one right there and then click one right here and click one right here and then sew it to here. And I will come over here and then click one right there and then click one right here, the same. So as you can see right here, now the facing are on top of the lapel. Okay, so next I'm going to strengthen that top part to right click and then Select strengthen and I'm going to simulate one more time here. Finally, we want to flip the facing to normal. To do that, I will come over here and my key select both of the facing and then come to the 3D window, right click and we want to select flip normal. And there it is. I'm going to click one on the page here to deselect and press on the space bar once again. To simulate and press it to stop. I'm going to unstrengthen. There you have a design star. I hope you guys find the video helpful. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Encoder Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching guys!